excited to see all of you here tonight for this special class because I am going to be your instructor tonight. Really? For Watsu for Sharks. <laughs> Sharks has got a bad name. The reason they got a bad name is that Watsu Sharks, <coughs> Watsu Sharks is doing it wrong. <laughs> a true Watsu Shark never lets his victim, uh, his client, a true Watsu Shark never lets his client even know that they've been shot. A matter of fact, a true Watsu Shark can create so much trust in their client they forget completely they even could have been Watsu Shark, and they believe that the whole thing was their idea. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, to do it right, it's like stealing candy from babies. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, so let's get to it. Now, a lot of you here, I see Ishvara, a bunch of other people do Watsu, and doing Watsu and doing Watsu Sharking are very much the same. The steps are very much the same. There's just one little difference, and how do I describe that? I think I describe it as uh, intention. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> You start a Watsu by doing an intake with the client. The intake is when you talk to them and find out what's going on in their body and see whether or not you want to hook up with this person. <laughs> <laughs> they tell you all about their injuries and their weaknesses, and that's good because you can exploit them. <laughs> be taking notes. <laughs> All right. Now it's important to listen when your client talks for two reasons. First, if you want somebody to trust you, you got to simulate interest. <laughs> you know, like you really care. And two, they're going to tell you where it hurts. And I swear to God, I looked this up in the book and it is proven medical fact that if you touch somebody nicely where it hurts, it feels good. <laughs> and wait, but it gets better because they ascribe all kinds of wonderful, magical things to you. It's called projection. <laughs> For Watsu Sharks, it's like gold. <laughs> so now with the intake, you get in the water, you're holding their hands, you're looking at them, and this is the induction. <laughs> the purpose of the induction is to hypnotize them into a mesmerized <laughs> And the way you do that is with your eye contact and with your voice. Now, the difference between therapy and shocking is just a matter of duration. <laughs> you, have eye contact. you hold their eye contact just a little longer. <laughs> and you talk nice and low. And slow. <laughs> They're gonna feel comforted on one level and on another level deeply disturbed. <laughs> Unconscious sexual arousal. And once you got that, you are planting the seeds for fruit to come. Because, look, I'm not talking here about grabbing a cheap feel or going for the easy kiss. What true Watsu Sharks want is at the end of the session, you want the client to come to you and ask you about connecting later. <laughs> Alright, so, you do all this other stuff right, by this time your client's libido should be fluttering like a moth humping a light bulb. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. But, uh, I think it's time for a little demo. Uh, a 
one's here. Anybody here want to? Oh, yes, you look good. Come on up here. Okay. <laughs> uh, just stand right over here, please. Put your back to the audience. That's right. And now sit down on my lap. Very good. Have you had a Watsu? Yes, you have. I see that you have. I've seen you with lots of different men in the pool. So <laughs> just... <laughs> back into that state. There you go. So. There's a lot of different ways to work on somebody's back, but we sharks, we know the right way, right? You start at the very top of the spine, with the very little feathery touches just around the base of the cranium. And then we work slow down the spine. Because if you go slow enough, what happens is they start thinking about where you could end up. <laughs> this works with guys as well as girls. <laughs> and the same thing, it goes for the front of the body. Doesn't matter what you do, as long as you infuse your every touch with just the very slightest suggestion of things to come. <laughs> you want their mind to turn to nookie, you do that, I guarantee you get the cookie. All right. In closing, in closing, and this is important too, you want to write this one down also, the most potent weapon that Watsu Sharks have in their arsenal of manipulation is your ability to fool yourself into believing that you actually care about this person. <laughs> That's right. And just tell yourself that they need your help and that you are the only one who can do it. <laughs> Maintaining that level of denial takes a hell of a lot of work. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs>